Hello, welcome to Restaurant Manager's Duet demonstration video. Duet is provided on an elite all-in-one POS station featuring a 15-inch capacitive touchscreen display with instantaneous response time and a vibrant display. Solid-state based hardware runs cool within a sleek aluminum casing designed to withstand harsh business environments. Each POS station comes with a receipt printer, cash drawer, keyboard, mouse, and pin pad for EMV, NFC, and debit transactions. Additional accessories can be added at a low monthly cost. Duet offers a wide range of robust features specific to the bar and restaurant industry, including quick and easy reporting, integrated online ordering, and hybrid cloud computing to remotely manage and update your POS system using Lighthouse, our online management and reporting tool. To log in, enter the four-digit PIN. Upon logging in, the cash drawer options are displayed. Selecting a cash drawer will assign the user to the drawer for convenient cash management. After a cash drawer has been selected, you will be led to the order entry screen. Duet will provide various tools to successfully operate a counter service restaurant or a full service restaurant as well. In a counter service environment, you will have departments on the right, as well as any menu items that fall under that particular department. An item can have multiple modifiers applied to the item, such as condiments on a sandwich. Please also note that there is an option to set tags on particular items by selecting tags at the top of the screen. This will display any items with tags attached to them. In a counter service environment, this can be used to easily notate and find vegetarian options or gluten-free options. Favorites can also be used to organize the most popular items at the establishment. Select an item to apply it to a ticket. On the left, there will be various ticket options available, such as adding an order type to the ticket, adding a customer, notating how many guests will be on the check, as well as adding a discount, splitting the check, adding or removing gratuity, and printing the check. To modify an item, select the item on the left. Modifiers can be added, quantity and price can be adjusted, and discounting, duplicating, moving to other persons, coursing, and removing or holding the item is available. For any other item needs, Special Request provides a text field to communicate with the kitchen, such as an allergy warning or an uncommon meal preparation. Once the items are added to the ticket, dollar increments can be displayed on the bottom of the ticket. These are called fast pay buttons and are typically used in a fast paced environment, such as a counter service environment. This will allow the cashier to quickly ring out a transaction using exact change or the closest dollar amount to the total of the ticket. Selecting one of those increments will prompt for a confirmation to accept cash and complete the order. Select Done, then select if a receipt is needed or not. This will close the ticket and allow you to move on to the next transaction. If FastPay is not available, select Take Payment to enter the payment screen. Available tender types are displayed on the left and shortcut functions on the right allowing bills to be selected to simplify counting. On the top of the number pad, there is an option to split a balance equally. If credit is selected, the system will prompt to swipe or enter a card number. Ticket number can also assist the cashier with pickup or takeout orders. The ticket number is crucial in a counter service environment. The order number will be at the top of the ticket and will be printed out on the customer's receipt. The cashier will be able to advise the customer what their order number is. Order numbers will also assist the expediter when the order is ready. Typically, the expediter will call out the order number for the customer to pick up. Since most pickups require a customer, you will be able to enter customers in the system. You will be able to enter a custom ticket name, or create customers with their phone number, address, and full name. This will save in the system and allow you to apply this customer to future transactions. Selecting customers at the top of the screen will bring you to a list of customers that already exist within the system. To add a new customer, select New Customer. The customer's first and last name and phone number is required. Optional fields include address, city, zip code, and email address. Once all of the information is filled out, you'll be able to select Save. Once the customer is created, you will be able to select the customer from the list and have the option to add the customer to the ticket or edit their customer information. You will also have the option of viewing the customer's most recent orders and view their favorite orders. 
Favorite orders are what the customer most commonly orders. If the customer orders the same thing every time, this will easily allow you to create the ticket. Typically, in a full service environment, a server or cashier will need to have access to any open tickets or completed tickets. GridView will allow the server to select a ticket and have various options such as pay with cash, transfer, void, table layout, or print. If the customer is ready to pay out the ticket and has exact change, the server will be able to select pay with cash. Transfer will transfer any selected tickets to a new user. This can be helpful for servers that still have open tables but need to leave for the day. Void will allow you to select tickets from GridView. Select the appropriate tickets, then enter the reason for the void. You can select the preset void reasons and add any additional comments pertaining to the void. Table layout allows the server to assign a ticket to a table if they have not done so already. Print has the same functionality as the print button on the order entry screen. This will simply print out a guest check for the customer to review their purchases. You will also be able to view completed sales from GridView by selecting Completed at the top of the screen. With the appropriate permissions, you will be able to either refund the selected tickets, reopen a ticket, or print the selected tickets. To access the settings, select Manager, then select Settings. There are various features and settings that would allow you to successfully operate your business, such as Menu, Accounting, Tickets, Payments, Users, Business, orders, and hardware. Menu will have all of the departments and items set up for you in order to begin ringing tickets. You will also be able to set up your modifier sets and modifiers in this section as well and create tags and favorites for your items. Accounting allows you to set up any taxes within the software as well as define your revenue centers and revenue classes. This will help your reporting to break down the differences in revenue between the bar and your dine-in sales. Tickets allows you to customize how the tickets are sorted in the POS station, as well as select how tickets are closed out and customize the gratuity settings. Payments allows you to customize the different tender types you accept, such as gift certificates and Grubhub purchases, as well as add any discounts that your establishment offers, such as happy hour discounts or employee comps. Users allows you to set up particular job roles as well as the individuals that belong under that job role. You will be able to set permissions on the job so that the employees under that job will have restriction to certain areas of the POS station. If the employee attempts to access a restricted setting, the software will prompt for a manager code. Setting up users in the software is also beneficial for labor management. Business allows you to set up specific functions for your business, such as the start of business day time and how much cash is in your drawer every morning. This will also allow you to select if you accept tips, edit customer information, labor management, or enter any reasons for voids or discounts. Orders allows you to set up particular order types for your business. This is beneficial in environments that have multiple different order types, such as dine-in, delivery, pickup, or takeout. Notating an order type on a particular ticket will allow the kitchen staff and employees know how to prepare and expedite the order. The Manager screen also has other features available to you to successfully operate your business. Activity will display any cash drawers and their totals, as well as performed end of day and adjust your tips. You will be able to adjust the date ranges as well as view total sales from that time frame and discounts. To manage labor in your business, you will be able to select a time clock. Users that have track labor enabled will be displayed on the left. All shifts are displayed on the right. Time parameters can be adjusted and open shifts are available at the bottom. To add a shift, select the employee on the left, then select add shift. Fields are displayed on the right to adjust the clock in, clock out, and break total. To delete a shift, select an employee on the left, then select the desired shift. Delete is available and will remove the shift from the user. For additional reporting needs, select Manager then select Reporting. On the left, you will see all the different available daily, monthly, and yearly reports. The start and end time date can be selected on the right and selecting Generate will display the report.
These reports are also available from Lighthouse through Remote Back Office Portal. We hope you found this video helpful and informative, and thank you for watching.